Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to give you my two cents on the very highly talked about Atari VCS. Let's get started. So if you don't know what the Atari VCS is, it's essentially a new gaming system from Atari. They've launched an Indiegogo project and it so far has been extremely successful. There's eight days left and they've raised a total of $2,922,225 US dollars. Their initial goal was only $100,000. So you can see it's 2,922% over their goal. So to say this thing has been successful so far is a massive understatement. So I scroll down here, you can see that the tribute edition all in is $379. Now they did have a collector's edition, which was limited to 6,000 units that have completely sold out. And they've opened up a new tribute edition, which is the exact same, except it's not numbered at a little higher price at 379. There are also some other tiers here. For example, their joypad for 29 bucks, uh, their controller for 49 bucks, controller and joypad for 59, so you save $10. Uh, the black edition of the VCS for 219 with no controllers, 299 for the tribute edition with the real wood front there, uh, $299 for the black system, the Onyx All-In system. So that contains the joystick and controller and system for $299. In my opinion, uh, this Atari box is going to be similar to a Steam machine, except it's not running Steam, it's running proprietary Atari software. So this will be based on a Linux operating system, and it says here you can add your own software and apps to customize your own platform. It also comes with 100 plus classic Atari games preloaded. It says here you can use your own peripherals and accessories, so Bluetooth and USB game controllers, mouse keyboard, external storage, webcams, microphones, external speakers, and headphones. If we look at the specs here, it weighs three pounds, uh, Linux OS based on Ubuntu, uh, looking at the storage, 32 gigs of flash memory. It supports external hard drives and an SD card, four gigs of RAM, a AMD A10 processor, and also on top of that, it says it can video output in 4K. There are two interesting specs here. Uh, first and foremost, cloud storage. So they will have some cloud storage. I'm kind of curious to see how that's gonna work. Um, not in a bad way, just curious and also live streaming. So you will be able to stream to Twitch from this device. And if we look at the delivery timeline, it's currently May. Uh, they have a second prototype coming up by the end of the year. There's final testing, manufacturing, beginning of next year in 2019, uh, shipping, and then probably by springtime, 2019, the pre-orders will arrive. Personally, uh, with the information I've read so far about this, it seems like a very aggressive schedule. I would not be surprised to see these dates pushed out just a little bit or a lot. So now we'll get to my thoughts on the VCS. Um, there are a lot of criticisms against it. I've read a lot, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, and there are also a lot of people who are for this system, as you can clearly tell based on how much they've raised so far, almost $3 million. From a PR standpoint, Atari has been very aggressive in dealing with criticisms of the Atari VCS and of this Indiegogo campaign. Now, I won't say Atari's responses are necessarily the wrong way to approach criticisms. However, it is very interesting to say the least. So here's a video by RGT85. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, it's basically him talking about the Atari VCS after Atari calls him, on quote, fake news over his Atari VCS coverage. Smash JT also has a few videos on the Atari VCS. I'll link his channel below as well so you can check out those. I highly recommend checking out Smash JT and RGT85. Uh, both of them have great channels. However, both of them are taking a very negative approach to the Atari VCS. Now, I'm not advocating for the Atari VCS at this point or against it. I'm just being transparent and saying these are two uh, channels that are taking a negative stance. 
If you head over to Spawn Wave and his channel, uh, he's got a more neutral view on the situation. Uh, I definitely recommend checking this video out and I will leave a link in the description as well. So do I think the Atari VCS is a scam? Do I think it's gonna be successful? I honestly have no idea. I have zero idea on whether or not this will actually pan out. I've read a lot of great articles supporting it. I've also read and watched a lot of negative articles and videos against it. And if you are curious about it, just have patience. Uh, they have almost $3 million in backing. Uh, they have 11,093 backers, and they are 2,922% over their original goal of $100,000. So you don't have to back it. You can just sit back, wait, see whether or not it's going to be a success, see if they can deliver what they're promising, and really you're not at a loss. I myself am a little hesitant on the Atari VCS just because of the price, and I do understand what you're getting with the price of this. However, it is in the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One price territory. And those are three solid, heavy-hitting, proven systems. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Uh, let me know what you think of the Atari VCS in the comments below. I'm actually really interested to know your opinions. There are a lot of people with a lot of opinions on the whole campaign, and it's been very interesting so far. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Please check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.